thank you for joining gapsfix.com. Fix your Google Apps today. This is Goldie again and in today's lesson we will see how we can register Google Apps free edition with our domain and start revealing great messaging and collaboration benefits. In case if you don't know what Google Apps is and what are the differences among different editions, I would strongly recommend you to watch our other tutorials. For this video, we are going to register a free edition of Google Apps with our domain. So what are the system requirements for us to register our domain with Google Apps? Obviously, we should have a domain with us. Though in, in case if you don't have domain, Google gives you an option of registering it with them. But I don't recommend that because in case if you buy it through Google, you will be paying straight away $10. No matter if you register for .com or .org etc. But you might get it a bit cheaper in case if you look for other domain providers. You should also have access to alternate email address. You should have your company details with you such as your company's name, your company's address and contact details along with employee size and few minutes to read the terms and conditions while registration. So let's go ahead and register a free edition of Google Apps at our domain. So now we will go to our browser and we will open a website called google.com slash a for apps. A lot of information, a lot of uh, links at this website but for our purpose we are going to click on pricing and then we will be registering a free edition. So we'll click on this one which says free. Let's click on start now. And Google will now ask us to provide a domain name. So in our case it's gapsfix.com. Let us click on submit. And Google will now check whether it's registered already or not. Or says not. So now it's giving us an opportunity to register. Under username you will be putting your first user which will have super administration rights on this domain's administration console for Google Apps. So in my case, let me just put Goldie and our password. Details for your organization, your country, street address, zip code or postal code, state, organization size in my case it's just one contact name and alternate email address which is very important in case if you lose your administration password this is the email on which you can ask for password reset link so that should be any other email address apart from the one which you have registered with your domain here your phone number and if you scroll down a bit, you will find different terms and conditions, which I strongly recommend you to invest some time and read those. It's been a long time I have been registering, so I'm aware of all this and I'm just going to click on I accept and create my account. It will take some time for Google to register our details in the database and redirect us to Google Apps administration console okay I've already logged in so let me switch accounts and okay perfect so now we have our Google Apps domain registered and Google is now giving us some options by which we can get some help and moving ahead and verify our domain ownership to Google and set up our mail exchanging records to avail email flow but for this demo, I'm going to stop here in case if you would like to uh, verify your domain and switch your MX records and so on, please watch our other tutorials. Thank you.